Hey everybody, I made it back to camp. As you see, still doing blizzard-like conditions. Got a meeting, see some people. I got Sarah going, gloves in my pocket. Not that bad down here, it's an actually really nice day. No sun, but it's still a nice day out. They don't follow my ass because it is a bit icy in spots. <laughs> and um, still lots of activity going on. Look around. Da -da 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 -da. Looks like a fire behind there. This is the top there. I can shoot that way. But hi, Betty Wolf from Pennsylvania. How you doing today? I yeah, saw the breeze coming out of the east. It's a little chilly, but it's not as bad as it would be coming out of the west. Rosewood Medical. Okay, okay. Emily. You know, grow up with me. Okay. Uh, sound. Okay, right, there you go. Alright. Okay, vibrations are on. Those fish are vibrate. There you go. Contacting Emily. Careful, the bigger you are, the harder you fall. True, very true. But I'm not very big. <laughs> That's a I don't know what you call them. Grizz or something like that. I don't know. Bigfoot or I don't know. These are a cooler outer. I need a scarf. Oh, I got plenty of coats. I wouldn't be able to put it on. Well but I think all that news about blizzard coming in was just to try to scare people off. I don't know how it got out there, but And, um, let's see here. Oh, I was saying earlier, you know, they were busting drill bits. Apparently, one of their drill bits, because of their illegal drilling, busted off inside the hole, and they can't extract it. So, that's one way. I don't know, that's still iffy, you know. I'm still trying to figure out how that benefits us if they flood it. You know what I'm saying? It'll help the protest because it makes it unstable for them to drill. And if it does, but it also works against us because it puts this camp in danger. And as you see, a lot of these structures around here are meant to be picked up and moved, at, moved out of the way. Margo Hay from, Hay from LA. Hi. Try to catch these questions as they come up. <laughs> yeah, Mercedes, I usually am shaved. You know, and yeah, I still try to figure out if it's a benefit or a hindrance. See, these guys are working on this over here. And we got, if you look over here, let's see right back. Over there, there's a barracks that needs a roof. But nobody wants to help put a roof on the barracks. They want to build a whole new building because it's more important to get a roof on the freaking barracks for other people to sleep in. There's Betty right back there. Someone's supposed to be bringing me some fuel today. And, um, well, there's your little wind starting to pick up again. This side's coming out the east. Radio yeah. check. Off the water, so it has a little bit of moisture check to it. Charlie, it's nice. Radio is good. But, um, I wanted to check in with you guys check right now. back at camp. Of course, now it's back to business as usual. Watching over everybody, keeping everybody safe. We're still kind of using some intel on the people across the river. We got drones up and going, checking, taking pictures and all that stuff. And I put it on my... Wall. Someone had pictures of yesterday, was it yesterday, or the day before, when it was nice and sunny, of them doing, um, they were they're still uh, still up there working when they said, oh, we're not going to work, but, then, you know, they lost their 
bid to do the um, our permits or whatever to drill. Let's see, right, right back here, this little building right here, just needs a roof. But them guys rather build a whole new building, it's construction people, oh, instead of putting a roof on a barracks that's already almost together, they rather build a whole new building, oh, waste resources out there, where it would take this right. a couple of hours there, and this would be done. I mean, anyways. Yes, they are doing working still despite federal orders. But hey, they say they'd rather pay the fine because it's cheaper. They're losing like now they're saying they're losing like twenty million a week, you know, shit like that. <coughs> but you know, they can lose as much as they want. Because I will be here. A lot of us will be here until this pipeline is stopped and you know coming out. I should get on him, but fuck, you know what? I don't know who told him to do all that work over there, but <coughs> we'll get this to going. But well, because the police are on their side, Jill Sadler, Hack, Hackworth, and um, if I talk about the line, they freeze you. Oh yeah, that usually happens. I start talking about Dapple stuff, and all of a sudden it's like my line gets cut off. You see, now, now my connection is getting weak. You know, and usually I don't have any problem. Uh oh, let's see here. No. Okay. Well, now they're gonna keep going, so they want us out of here. So, it, it, but. Vader's not here right now. I'm, I'm Rattler, Elizabeth. Unless he's watching. Go. <coughs> but we're going to keep going on this. They broke a drill bit. I thought they broke. Yeah, they, they, they broke three of them, actually. Three, three drill bits. And one of them is still in the hole. And, uh. Wow, the real runny nose. But, uh. I just thought I'd give you guys an update and let you know what's happening down here. We're still buttoning in. You can see everybody around here behind me. And um, we're just going to keep going. Keep plugging at it. You know. All right. Love y'all. Keep sending their prayers because I think, you know, when she's hearing us and she's working, you know, putting their prayers in one spot right in front of that drill bit. I don't think camp is shifting now. And we, a lot of us, we ain't gonna move even if we're gonna be sitting there under three feet of water. You know, you know, we'll put, us, put pontoon floaters on our teepees, but we ain't moving. Oh, spill recently in North Dakota. No, I didn't hear about that. But love you guys. I'm gonna get going. I got a meeting I gotta get to. You know, <laughs> I'm away. You know, I'm behind on everything, so I gotta get caught up. All right, love you guys. See you guys later.